Peace to the world. Montaru is here. Hello all. Hi. Welcome back to the Pokemon Retrospective, where we are playing through a version of all the Pokemon games. Uh, now we are on to uh, one of the last games we'll be doing in Gen 3. Actually, the last game we currently have set up for Gen 3, unless we reach the rest of our goals. Uh... Yeah, uh, we'll be doing a a Nuzlocke of Pokemon Ruby version, the original one. Uh, let me get that up so that we can pin that real quick. Yeah, and I'm excited to do this. This is going to be a very fun uh, thing. Ruby was, uh, as some of you may all know, the origin game of Nuzlocke. This is where it first started. This is when... Uh, Nuzlocke made Pokemon Hard Mode, which is the original name of the challenge. It just became synonymous with, like, his name instead, uh, with his username instead as Nuzlocke, so. We are going to be heading on over to that. There are you, there you are. Alrighty. Now, let's start this up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Game Freak! It's a very similar intro to, uh, what's it called, um, uh, oh goodness, what is it called? Uh, Emerald, that's it! Uh, yeah, very similar one, but instead we got a Latios here! And we send out a Mudkip and a Torchic against a Sharpedo and a uh, Duskull. Probably not the best plan. Here we have it. Pokemon. Ruby version. Yay! Alrighty. Let's change this real quick. Over to fast. And new game. Hello! Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokémon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokémon Professor. This is what we call a Pokémon! This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokémon. We humans live alongside Pokémon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like our... S but despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon's mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? Hmm. Big questions, big questions. Now we're choosing the girl design. <laughs> we did the boy earlier, so... <laughs> Uh, name. How about this one? Stella! I think it's a fun name. Ah, okay, your Stella is moving into my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. I still love this. That we're just in a moving truck. It's very, very funny. Okay, we're done. Yay! Hold on. Let me uh, check ourselves real quick. Oh, yay! Look at us. Hop. Hi, Mom. Why were you... Why'd you go into the house before Gans? Must be tired riding with all the things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Stella. Let's go inside. Oh, boy. I never had my own room before. See, Stella? Isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Stella, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. I do find it interesting how we have uh, Machoke here instead of uh, the Vigoroth in Emerald. 
I'll be honest, the Machoke make more sense. Anyway, let's head on up. We got a Nintendo GameCube and the Game Boy Advance is connected as a controller. No, it's not. Look at that. Look at that real quick. Anyway, let's get our potion real quick. Nope, nope, not deposit. And now we can set our clock. Uh, what time is it? Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't know what time it is. Hmm. Let's just set, uh, let's just set a time for it. <laughs> it totally not suspicious right now. <laughs> do 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 to do Stella, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's in place. They finished moving everything. Pokemon Mover's so convenient. You should go check out everything. So yep, alrighty. Oh, Stella, come quickly. What you got? It's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. I have a dad? Brought this new report in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in the lower root town. His name's Presser Burge. Lives next door, so you should check him out. Alrighty. The first game where we have a father and we don't even get to meet him at first. Oh, hello. Use a PC, you can store Pokemon power. The power of science is staggering. Ah, <laughs> oh, science man. You will never cease to amaze me. Hello. Barging into houses. Hello, and you are? Oh, you're Stella, and then you next door neighbor. Hi, I have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a friend. Son is upstairs, I think. Pokemon fully restore, items all packed, and hey, you, who are you? Oh, you're Stella, aren't you? Moving in next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Dad, Professor Birch said that our new next door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Huh? Hey, Stella, you don't have a Pokemon? You want me to catch you one? Aw, oh, darn, I forgot. I was supposed to help my dad catch some wild Pokemon some other time, okay? I still find it funny that that one line has made everybody just be like, oh man, uh, Brendan's a misogynist. <laughs> uh, uh, what should I do? Yeah, somebody for the help. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> help, help me! Leo, you there! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! We got Trico. We got Torchic. We got Mudkip. Alrighty. Uh, which one should I pick? Well, we picked Torchic last time, so... I heard you like Mudkips. So we're going with him. <laughs> ba 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 Alrighty. Tackle, tackle, tackle! Ha 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 ha. Woo! I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon always jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're Stella? Not from a place to chat, so let's head back to my lab. So, Stella, I heard so much from you from your father. Heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you pulled off, you pull off with a plum. I guess you your father's blood in you after all. Yeah, yeah, yada, yada. <laughs> give me the mudkip. And why not give it a nickname? Um I have a theme planned for these nicknames, so uh let's go with it real quick. Um, hi. Hold on. Wait. Did I spell that right? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I think I spelled it wrong. <laughs> yep, yep. There we go. Uh, there, here we go. Wait, no, no, that's still wrong. <laughs> I can't spell, apparently. Uh, okay. There we go. Work your Pokemon game experience and think you'll make a darn good trainer. My kid Brent is on Route 103 tr tr studying Pokemon. Might be not be a bad idea. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so yeah, how are y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're all excited. I'm excited for when we get into special rule. It's gonna be a little bit before we can get into that, but uh, it'll still be fun. Hello, Zigzagoon. All right, time for the zeroth rule of the Nuzlocke. Grind like hell. 
<laughs> Zigzagoon fainted. Ba 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 ba. And another one. Yeah, sadly the sprites don't move in this game like they do in Emeralds, which is really weird. I don't know. Yay! Level 6. And Mud Slap! Yay! Good job, Pisces! Alright, let's check you out, actually. I never checked your nature. Okay. A naughty mudkip. Yay! <laughs> We got a pooch! Hello, King Mani. Welcome. We are currently beating up a Poochiena. How are you doing? Alright. Uh, let's heal up real quick. Hello, welcome to Pokemon Center. Blah, 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 blah. To see you again. You hurt. You hope that my mudkip gets hurt again. That's so rude. Uh, before we get that, let us get another free potion. Pokemon just look for a blue roof. Sell a variety of goods. Yay! Two potion. Two potion. More useful than Pokemon Center. Yay! Also, we never showed off this guy in Emerald, or like, didn't show this part off. Ah, oh, wait, don't, please don't get me or discovered footprint rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Are you a Pokemon watcher? Alright. Let's head north. We're still gonna get to level 7 first before we do anything. Uh. Yeah, another pooch. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got next? One more level should get us, or one more battle should get us the level. A wingle! Uh... Growls. Ba, ba da 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 da. Rawr! Alrighty. Will this beat it? Hopefully. Yay! Level 7. That should be good. Alright, let's heal up once more real quick. Back to Old Ale Town. Can't believe they're talking about ale in Pokemon. Or maybe it's about Old Dale. Good old Dale. Alrighty, now let's go find Brendan. Hello! Okay, so this one and that one live on Route 103. Hey, it's Stella! Oh yeah, Dad gave you a Pokémon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what being a trainer's about. Alright, I'm gonna show you what a real trainer is about. You got a Trico. I got mud. Go, Pisces. Slap some mud. Gonna throw some dirt in your eye. <laughs> 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 
Alright, these leers are getting a little bit, uh, a little bit dicey. But thankfully, we're speed tied, so. <laughs> Yay! Huh, Stella, you're not too shabby. Yay! I think I get it. I think I know what my dad has his eye out for you now. Look, your Pokemon already likes you, even though you just got it. Still, I got the feeling you could befriend any Pokemon fees. We should head back to the lab. I hope I can befriend one certain Pokemon. One very important one. I'm heading back to my dad's lab now. Stella, you should hustle, hustle back, too. Alrighty. Oh, hi, Stella. I heard you beat Brendan on your first try. That's excellent. Brendan's been very helpful with my research a long time. It's extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Stella, I ordered this as my research, but I think you should have it, this Pokedex. Stella, receive the Pokedex. Yay! Pokedex is a high-deck tool that automatically records a record of any Pokemon. It goes everywhere about it. It catch a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex. Why, Brendan looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Huh? So you got a Pokedex too? Well then, here, I'll give you this. Receive the Pokeball. <laughs> THE Pokeball. It was more fun than a whole bunch of Pokemon. Gonna explore all over and find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, I'll try and get them with Pokeballs. Yay! Alright, let's save real quick. Because now, I think it's time to get into what the special rule is for this Nuzlocke. And also, peel back the curtain a little bit. Because, uh... <laughs> let's, uh, let's just, uh, reset the GameCube real quick. And, uh, instead go into the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. <laughs> so yeah, I started this, uh... So yeah, I pre-recorded this, uh, initially. <laughs> because, uh, the special rule is, uh... Well, first off, let's see. While we're talking about this, I'm gonna show off what's in the bonus disc. We got a preview of Jirachi Wishmaker, and we got some previews of Coliseum. We can watch them real quick. So yeah, the, the uh... It's not obvious what the bonus rule is going to be. We're going to be using the Jirachi from the bonus disc, and it's going to be in our party the entire time. Yeah, let's get out the general Nuzlocke rules. Uh, yeah. Based off of Ruby Hard Mode, I catch the Pokemon. Obviously, the basic rule is to catch the first area, and if it faints, it's unable to use for the rest of the challenge. I'm implementing Dupes Claws, so the way I do Dupes Claws is that anytime I encounter, anytime I catch a Pokemon, that evolutionary line is off limits for the rest of the thing. I can make some exceptions if, like, if a route only has something that I've already got an evolutionary line of, which really only applies to Tentacool. <laughs> uh, uh, and the other one is that any route that is underwater counts as the route above it, not just as one general underwater area. I know that that's like, uh, breaking where the location is, but, yeah, I mean, otherwise I would not get, otherwise we'd get so many tentacle. It's like, no, this is just gonna... This... Oh, that rule only helps variety. Uh. Coming March 24, 2004. And then the Jirachi rule set. With new faces. This is with inspired by... Oh, yeah, I what forgot this one has dialogue. Rise to the challenge. Pokemon Coliseum. In an all new role playing adventure taking place in a whole all new, new region, Pokemon adventure. come to life like never before. Travel to the farthest corners of a wild <laughs> world, explore new towns, meet fascinating trainers, 
and uncover mischievous plots. A sinister <laughs> organization is using Pokemon to realize their plans for world domination. These Pokemon have been misled as the organization attempts to create the strongest shadow Pokemon. Oh, it's no. up to you to restore balance to the Pokemon world. Seek out the shadow Pokemon and snag them. Once captured, put forth all of your efforts to purify them of the shadow. It's time for a new hero. With new friends to battle new foes, let the adventure begin. Yay! Bring your battle to the big screen with supercharged Pokemon battles. Awesome battles. Sapphire Pokemon, new two-on-two -two battles, and fabulous arenas beckon you to prove your Pokemon mastery. Big adventures and massive battles. Peacock. The new world of Pokemon explodes onto the Nintendo GameCube. With Pokemon Coliseum. Uh, oh, I love that commercial. It's very fun. Also, it's interesting that they still have like the Japanese like dial the Japanese text on there. Anyway, let's get the Jirachi loaded up into the game. Just want to show. Th I want to show th this off properly. All the materials that you need. <laughs> very. Pr yeah. Is there a free space? Yes, we have five of them. Alrighty. So yeah, the uh this challenge is inspired. Do that end up avoiding it at GameStop? Yeah, that's a shame. <gasps> yeah, this was based off of a Nuzlocke comic on the old Nuzlocke forums by Charlie Mewy. Uh where these were the Mewy runs where he just had a Mew in his party. And just like, oh yeah, this Mew is, and it, this Mew has to be in the party. It will, if it faints, the challenge is over. And like, he just took pictures of the various games that he was doing about it, and uh, posting posting the like making up a story along with it because this wasn't really a comic. This was the forum. It was very interesting. So yeah, Drachi. I'm doing a little bit different. One thing, I'm using a Drachi instead of a Mew. Uh, the other one is, since Jirachi has, like, wish tags in it, thought that could be a fun thing to incorporate, so... I get three revives. <laughs> because that's gonna be inter- Because I feel like that could be more interesting than not. Anyway, yeah. The last thing on here is Jirachi Wishmaker, which we cannot show, otherwise the VOD will be absolutely destroyed. <laughs> so... Let us actually put on the uh let's put on the actual thing now <laughs> now let's start actually playing the game <laughs> uh this was this was very funny to play now and i'm just like man what am i gonna do to get the jirachi on here and then I'm just like, what if I just pre-recorded it and did an entire thing to start where it's just like, no, I'm playing this legit, obviously. <laughs> we already saw the intro. Alright, so I have literally not even looked at this Jirachi yet. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we got a shiny one? Come on, shiny! Darn! We got a relaxed Jirachi. Aw, oh, that's cool. Uh, that would have been funny. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting until we get to, uh, Brawly, because, uh, this Jirachi will only listen to us for five levels. <laughs> Once we get to level 10, it will refuse to listen to us until we can get to- until we beat Brawly. Adorable Pokemon, you got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, alright? You look to good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. Put a zip in your step. Yay, I can run! Those shoes come with instructions! Don't custom story they add. Uh, love LP ROM hacks of Pokemon Sweet. Yay. Think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get him, honey. Aww. And no, like, uh, it was a fun comic. It's. I. A sh I'm so upset, though. Because, like, they did an update to the Nuzlocke forums, and in that update, a lot of the old archives got, like, nuked. 
but I think it was by, like, account? Because the weird thing is, is that, like, they have an archive for... for these comics. I can find the forum post for it, but it's... M what it's missing is the actual story! <laughs> like, the actual posts by the person are gone. I can, or like, a, like the forum channel exists, but the post itself with all the actual like stories from the events are gone. And it's like, no, that was the important part. <laughs> uh, it's a shit. It was a fun one. It was, it was fanficy as all heck, but it was still fun. Chance the OG post remove them. I, that would be. See, I don't think so. I have a feeling it was just like an update to the forum, and they never bothered like re-implementing it. So, because we are using a Drachi, here is how I am doing Route 101 and Little Root. Mudkip is our Route 101 encounter. Jirachi is our Little Root encounter. Some people generally do it as like your starter is your Little Root encounter because of uh because uh, that's where you get to nickname it. A lot of people do that. I'm just like, all right, I'm using a Jirachi. I'm using a mythical Pokemon with high stats. Like, I can afford to not get a Wurmple, a Zigzagoon, or a Poochiana. I can afford to have one less of them. <laughs> so yes, this route does not get an encounter. I think that is going to be the most fair way to do that. Uh, you have, like, confusion, right? Yeah, yeah, hmm. You are probably not going to be good for catching things. Oh, hello. Finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Turns out they were only my own footprints. Aw. All right, bud. Route 103, we can get something. So what are we going to get? Are we going to get Walter again? We're going to get another Walter! <laughs> This is just a joke that I do. This is just a thing I do. Every single time I do a Nuzlocke of this, I always end up with a Wingle, and they are always named Walter. Why do I call them Walter? I don't know. It feels like a good name for a Pelipper. Uh, I don't know, actually. Should I really do that? I could probably like get, keep with the actual theme, because one of the themes I want to do, since this is Jirachi... I wanted to do, like, a theme of, like, naming everything after stars. Uh, should I name the seagull Corvus? That could be fun. Name it after, like, stars or constellations. You know what? You know what? Yeah, no, this this might be a good name because of uh, <laughs> this might actually be a good name. Battle Ga Galius? What is that one? What? Also, how do I, also how do I pronounce that? Because if you don't have like, I might still say no, but I want to hear what it is first. No, I'm not going to do Beetlejuice. I'm doing stars, as in, like, in the sky. <laughs> oh, Weizang, what? Oh, it's an actual star? I thought this was a joke about Beetle... I thought you were making a joke about Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, uh, like, uh... <laughs> I guess that is still the joke. I'm not sure if I want that for a Wingle, especially because I found this. Part of Aquarius, uh, Albali, name is originally from Arabic for the Swallower, which I think is wonderful, a wonderful name for a Pelipper. And it's Aquarius, so a water Pokemon. I think that that is the best. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I think that one will be funnier for me. I, 
I think that that is the better way to go about this. <laughs> I do like that. I do like that one. I will I will check about it later. A hardy one. That boosts defense, I believe, but I forget what it reduces. I will keep that one in mind, but I don't know what I wouldn't give Beetlejuice to. <laughs> Maybe a Ralts, if we get it. <laughs> a Ralts or a C Dot, I think, might be good for that one. Alrighty. Let's head in here. Thought those was an odd ReZero reference. Uh, no. For Beetlejuice or? Or, uh, All Bali? Uh, let's get Confusion as the first one. It's Red Supergiant Star in the constellation Orion. It is usually the tenth brightest star in the night sky after, uh, Regal, the second brightest in its constellation. Oh. Also, King Mani, is it actually pronounced Beetlejuice? <laughs> How you doing, Cunning Dolphin, as well? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, Albali, can you defeat a Wormpole? Uh, you can take five. Day's been alright, yay! Yep, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm reading that. And I'm just like It's also a character in Re Zero. I'm just like Be tall juice. I I I believe you. But also I'm just like they also named a character they also named a character in Re Zero this. Should I have chanced this? Probably not, but oh well. <laughs> Should I have chanced the potential for a crit? Money Contel. Contel. <laughs> Alright. Very, sh very entertaining. Really great when you see their backstory? Cool. I've never watched ReZero. I'm I'm interested to see how this will work with uh, Jirachi. Is the play, play the party game Twister? Nice. Man, this is a strong Zigzagoon. <laughs> Got a cr like the other one was doing three damage. This one's doing five, and I grew a level. Bum, ba, ba, bum. goes through. Eh. Eh, it'll be fine. I mean, I know. I mean, I've seen a bit of stuff from ReZero, but, like, I've just never watched the show itself. Besides, I, I've read the I've read the Sword of Truth series. Uh, I don't think you're I don't think anything that the anime is going to get get through is going to top some of the stuff in that. A, a, a lot of stuff, a lot of bad stuff happens in that series. Oh, poor Nikki. <laughs> I 
More string! Uh, I'm curious, I'm curious, for anybody who was watching the uh, opening part of it, did any of you realize that it was recorded, that it was pre-recorded until uh, we got to the, uh, the Coliseum part? <laughs> the bonus disc part? Because I'm just like, this is a stupid idea, but I don't know, it might be funny. Will it trick anybody? I don't know. Because I'm just remembering, like, uh, one of the times when I was doing, like, uh, YouTube videos, uh, I had a portion of XD where I started the entire thing mute- where I started it muted, and I realized it partway through, so I unmuted, and just like, ah, I've been muted this entire time. I went back, redubbed it, and redubbed it afterwards, and just like, and this is the part where I realized my microphone was muted, so you can head back to the real- to the real me. Oh, no, no, no! I, the video was, the video, uh, the gameplay was what was pre-recorded. I was not. I was just live dubbing what was happening. God, I, w God, I wish I could have, like, predicted that. <laughs> it's like, all right, who's going to be the person who will show up in chat and at what time? <laughs> King Mati will show up at exactly this moment, so I need to say hi then. <laughs> God, that would have been hilarious. There's a 50-50 shot of Twister showing up with Stemple Thoughts or lurking the entire time. Which one do I bank on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was just something I'm like, all right, this will be easier to get into the rule set without me needing to like get away from the microphone. Could have uh, had it set to a sound effect so that you activate during a quiet moment. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see about what we can get in here. Before Twister does appear, she might. I mean, she's probably lurking. A wormple. The problem is, is that I think Walt- uh, I think- I almost called you Walter. <laughs> I think, uh, Albali is, uh, might be too strong for the wormhole. Oh no. Uh, Mudslap might not be- might be weak enough, actually. Alright, does this seem like the brightest star in Orion? Does a wormhole sound like it could be the brightest star? Should you be Beetlejuice or should somebody else be Beetlejuice? Not sure about that. The other the other thing I have is I can take something I can take a star out of Scorpio. Or Scorpius. The worm Pokemon. Worm. I could ta actually, I could uh, take a star out of Gemini because uh, because of a uh, wormhole having a split evolution. I like that. Uh... Let me 
see. What are some fun stars in Gemini? Uh, Castor and Pollux are both in there, obviously, but you're a girl. Ah. None of them look like they have, like, interesting, like, meanings behind them. As far as I can tell, as far as I can tell. One of the brighter stars in the constellation. I'm starting the phrase referring to an outstretched paw. I don't think that we're gonna find one that, uh, like, fully fits, so uh, let's just go with, uh, the one that I think looks the prettiest. Mep, uh, yeah, Mebsuta. Got a serious wormpole. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da -da. I have any fun things anybody excited any, any fun things happening so far you have a Pokemon then you're an official Pokemon trainer you can't say no to my challenge <laughs> just wait until Paldea friend then I can say no to every trainer except Nimona Nimona I cannot say no to nice Also, let's train up uh, Mepsuta a little bit. And we'll retain free Fantasio and Shadow Generations. Nice! Glad you enjoyed them. And I haven't gotten either of them. I want to, but uh, but uh, Mario Party and uh, oh wait, I, you can't fight this. Oops. Mario Party and uh, and Brothership were the ones that I wanted. Were the two that I was getting this this time frame. Uh. Yeah, yeah. That is the uh, inspiration for the Jir for the reason I have a Jirachi on me. All righty. Uh, how much does that tackle do? Three damage. No, you will not be able to beat it. Jirachi is not allowed to leave our party ever. Brothership today before the uh, official release, because I forgot. Yeah. I'm still impressed that Brothership showed up for me on time. On track is never on point. 
I was like talking with Dalton about it uh, one of the days, and just like, yeah, no, you are you are not getting that get you are not getting that game ever. And I'm just like, I know. And then it showed up on release day. I'm just like, how? You who are you? I'm joking. Well, like Autrek has gotten me things on time before, but they still found they've still found other ways to mess up stuff in shocking ways. All right, it's me. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. All right, I do not think that uh, the Wormpole will survive, so. Is on track like Amazon? On track is like I, I have no idea what they are, but they are a shipping company in the area that I'm in that I'm guessing just is cheap. So they so like Best Buy uses them a lot in the area I'm in because they I've never seen on track at all when I was still living in uh in like the East Coast in the Eastern Time Zone. And yet, like, so many orders now use on track, and they are always failures. Okay, not always, but more failures enough that I literally told Best Buy just like, hey, stop giving me on track. I will stop ordering from you if I keep, if they keep doing this. Now, no, maybe they actually, like, were, maybe they actually, like, uh, chewed out on track about all that. <laughs> Where they're just like, hey, you're messing up customer orders. Maybe they got maybe they got uh, their stuff together finally. I don't know. Might have monopoly for the area. But here's the thing, they don't because I still get other I still get things from UPS or USPS and FedEx. From what they were saying at Best Buy, one of just like, please never give me on track again. It's just like, it's an automated system. We just try and get the thing to you as fast as possible. And I'm just like, yeah, on track doesn't do that. So stop doing, so stop giving me them. <laughs> so like, I don't know. I think on track just like promises it delivers things the fastest. And it, like the system is just like, well, it says they can, it says they have open spots. So we'll give it to you. I don't know. <laughs> it's annoying, it's frustrating, and like, I don't know. Yeah, right now I am not like, right now I am thinking about like what it is we're gonna be using. I am sort of just like, I don't think Either uh, Meb or uh, Albully will be uh, will be like really implemented into the final team. Because Beautifly and Dust Talks are like average at best, especially in this game. But you. And like uh. All Bully is uh, also a water flying type, which I already have a water, which I'll have a water ground type if, uh, as long as, uh, as long as Pisces survives. Get a poison. Poison, poison, poison. I can't poison with tackle, unfortunately. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
Hello, Twister. Welcome. You missed the grand reveal of the special rule, Twister. Here's the special rule. We're using a Jirachi. <laughs> uh, did you just become a trainer with both beginners? Yep. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, no, like, uh... This was based off an old comic on the Nuzlocke forums where, uh... The person had a Mew in their, like, uh, put in a Mew in their party, and had to use that the entire game. Doing alright? Yay! It was fun, like, the, an interesting, like, behind-the-scenes thing they were talking about, because they had, like, the, their own, like, uh, fanfic story going on with it in the forum, which was fun to read. They were talking about some of the mechanical things about it, it's just like, huh, yeah, so, uh, apparently, uh, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, if you have any Mew other than, like, an event, a very specific event Mew, or, like, has all the, like, the event flags, it will never obey you. Like, it will always act as a disobedient Pokémon. I think Deoxys has the same, uh, restriction. And it's like, oh, that's interesting. So they had to... So, like, they had to have a copy of an event Mew from, like, a long, long-ago event. They couldn't give it, like, their own name for it to obey them the entire time. Uh, which meant that the, the Mew was disobeying them up until they, uh, up until they beat Misty. And then they incorporated that into the lore. It's just like, because that was also like one of their first major deaths that happened. So like, originally they were challenging gyms to see if Mew would actually listen to them for like, for like, uh, just like the lore purposes. And then they incorporated just like, no, Mew started listening because it, because it screwed up and one of the teammates was lost because of it. And just like, no, that was, that's on me. You're right, we are in this together. We're going to- I'm going to fight with you. <laughs> it was fun. It's a shame that that comic no longer exists. Or that the forums no longer exist. And I can't find anybody who has, like, any sort of, like, archive of it. I think I contacted the Nuzlocke- the new Nuzlocke forum about it, and I never got a response back. The entire thing was really fanfic -y, but it was very fun. Lost to the Void, yeah. I think I checked Internet Arc. I think I checked the Wayback Machine, too, and I couldn't find anything. Maybe I could, because just, like, how forums work. Which is, yeah, but, which, that's sad. I could check again. I could check again, but uh, I don't think that it will come up. beat this and get into Petalburg, we will, uh, save and then take our first break. Level 9! I ended up furthering your career! Yes. I am now more powerful. I am the most powerful Stella of all. Let's heal, let us save. And let us get onto a very quick break. So while we're on the break, you can grab a drink or a snack, use the restroom, stretch, release any attention in your body, join me in some sit-ups. Uh, the break's gonna... Yeah, let's just start the break now. Thank you. 
Alrighty. Hope y'all enjoyed your break. Ah. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I forgot to remove that. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Where is it? There you are. Uh. Yes, get rid of you. <laughs> I forgot to remove the trick. Uh, Twister, uh, you missed it. Uh, that was the, uh, pre-recorded thing for me to, like, uh, seamlessly get the Jirachi into this game file. Because <laughs> I didn't want to, like, uh, have to walk over, switch out the disc, switch out everything. I'm just like, alright, I'm just going to pre-record it, then we're gonna play it and, uh, see how many people I can trick into believing that it's all being done live. <laughs> Uh. Alrighty, um... Everybody's level 6. Let's get Meb up to, uh... Let's get Meb evolved. Find out what we're gonna get. Eh. I believe this happened for a reason! Uh-oh. Yeah, how about no? <laughs> I do not want to chance just like uh getting letting the C dot kill kill my girl here. Alrighty. Nice. Scanner evolved, and then we can do the stuff with Wally and uh, Norman. Wally and Dad. Tackle. Fuck. Oh. Yay. Alright, what we gonna get? What we gonna get? Another worm! Party worm! <laughs> I love all the party worm wormpole gifts. They're always entertaining. I'm like the wormpole with a hat. The the wormpole with a hat in that one Pokemon Go like look like a uh, startup screen was great. I'm pretty sure it was like uh like pretty close to when uh new snap released so uh you could bonk a wormple out of a tree and it was just lying on its back so everybody was posting that posting like the two just like uh new year's eve uh new year's eve new year's morning which one did we get we got a silcoon we're gonna get a beautifully Mepsuta learned Harden. Uh. Beautifly. Okay. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Hmm? Well, if it isn't Stella, so you finished moving in. Surprised you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see, you're with your Pokémon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Stella. That's great news, I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokémon, please. Hmm? You're... Uh... Oh, right, you're Wally, right? I'm gonna stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokémon along. I never caught a Pokémon before, I don't know how. Hmm, I see. 
Stella, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here. I'll loan you my Pokemon. All right, over under. Will this Zigzagoon, which will be shiny? The Zigzagoon, the Ralts, or neither? Oh, wow, a Pokemon. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Oh, wow, thank you. Did you really come with me? Pokemon hide in tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Alright, Ralts is not shiny. Zigzagoon, are you gonna be shiny? Aw. Neither of them are shiny. That's not funny. I love this, uh, like, uh, hidden, like, capture tutorial. It's very funny. Girl, ball now, right? I'll, I'll do my best. What will Wally do? Fight! Fight it, Wally! Fight it! <laughs> Fight the Ralts! <laughs> Yay. I did it! It's- it's my Pokémon! Stella, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Hello, Jundinator! So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokémon back. Stella, thank you for coming along with me. Uh, you two are why I was able to catch my Pokémon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Stella! Now, Stella, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head to Rustboro City, beyond this town. There, you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Stella. That's only after you become stronger. Wally kawaii! Wally is kawaii! You're- ah, you must be Stella, right? Thank you for playing with, uh, Wally a little while ago. He's been very sickly ever since he was a baby. Then stay with relatives and burdened her for a while. The air is a lot cleaner there than it is here. <laughs> What's that? Where's Wally? He left already, our Wally. Wonder where he could have gotten by now. Why is Verdant why does Verdant Turf have clean air? Cleaner air than here? When uh, I can't show it on the map because it doesn't exist. But uh Verdant Turf is right at the foot of a volcano. We're like pretty far away from a volcano. Why does Verdant Turf have clean air? I haven't even told you he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Gamer Town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from the Johto region. How Norman wants with you is way too strong. How would I put it? I just have the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. And he also throws uh, staircases at his... Uh, and is a 11-year-old child. Uh, traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. Huh, wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. Crawl th through some damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains. No, 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 but Verdant Turf is right at the foot of a volcano. Like, it is... Hold on, like... Hold on, does- is there a map in the Pokemon Center? Like, it is closer to the volcano than here is. It is far closer to the volcano. Like... Here's the chim- here is, uh, here is the volcano. Here is the- here's Verdant Turf. It is right next to it. It is right at the foot of a volcano. Because Verdant Turf is still, like, Lava Ridge is still, like, in the mountains. <laughs> Verdant Turf is right at the foot of the volcano. Either way, like, neither of them should have clean air because there should be volcanic ash everywhere. 
All right, Route 104. What will we find in here? Can't get a worm pole. We already got a worm pole. So, Dupe's Claws is activated, and we will not be getting this guy. Yeah, I will say, basically, all the future Nuzlocks are going to have special rules, and it's going to be basically this run... Basically, this thing... This challenge that I'm doing, but with other mythical Pokémon of that uh, generation. So, like, Pearl, it's gonna be Manaphy, uh... Black and white, black, uh, black, black and black two. If we get the Nuzlocks for them, it's going to be like a Keldeo and Genesect. Isn't just like no, no. I, I, if I'm doing these, I want to have some special things for them, and these were the easiest ones that I can do for that. Industrial Smog. Ooh, a Zigzagoon. We don't have you, and you can be helpful. Alrighty. Tackle! Yeah, we can do another tackle. Does that music slow down? Uh, I don't know, was it? Like, I can only hear what I hear, and I don't have, like, the monitoring set up for, like, uh... For how it'll output on stream. Zigzagoon was caught! What should I name you? Let's do something from Canis. Let's do something from like a uh, Canis. I think that makes the most sense. I know that raccoons aren't actually dogs. South Park reference. No, no, no. We're doing a. Uh, so, uh, because Jirachi is like our main thing in here, I'm doing a naming theme where, uh, where like all of the nicknames are gonna be like based off of stars or constellations. That is a whale. If we get a whale more, that's where you if we get whale more, that's you're gonna that's gonna be your name. Why does Perseus have why does the Perseus just have a thing called Muspelheim? Why? Why is that a star? You know what? Actually, no. Apparently, this is a star name, and I kind of like it because of the... <laughs> because of the, uh, the implications with it having pickup. <laughs> also, it's just kind of funny. Apparently, Natasha is a star name. Uh... And, uh, it means thank you in many national languages. Just like, ah, oh, that seems fun with pickup. I always say thank you to Natasha. Got a quiet, quiet nature. Apparently, that's a star name in Vila. Oh, uh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, I just have, like, a Wikipedia, like, official names of stars. Oh, so, like, a tap for that. Just like, all right, let's look for names. I might go through that list and, like, uh, give name, like, uh, cherry pick names for, like, all of the uh, potential Pokemon we can get in this run. But no, uh, you are going to be very nice to have. Zigzagoon is that because like a Linoon is actually pretty good. Uh, is like utility wise and also just like utility wise as a normal type, and also just like getting pickup as we keep leveling it up. 
This is still Ruby, though, so we don't get, like, the, uh, pickup chart that exists in, like, uh, in, like, uh, Emerald Onwards. Thank you. Yeah, I had a feeling that you were gonna start doing that. I'm pretty sure that poison does not count towards bide. So Mep should be fine. Excellent. Bye bye. Ooh, a Taylo. Uh, let's keep you out, but then switch out for Jirachi. I got a steel type. I'm gonna use it for the next uh, like uh, four levels before it starts disobeying me. <laughs> I get this Jirachi. I get this Jirachi for uh, four le for four more levels, and then I have to wait until we get to Brawly. We can still use it, but it's not going to be helpful. It's too helpful. Got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. Ugh. See, so, yeah, I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Heart scale. Where Mr. Briny lives, he was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Two patches. Two orins. Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. We've got to have money. Oh, Winston. Stop whipping your tail! Alrighty, uh... I do not trust you, so, uh, switch out. <laughs> I don't trust two tail whips. <laughs> Full restore! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love the rich boy. It's very funny. And goodbye. <laughs> All right, we had another encounter. What's it gonna be? Not you, because we already have a zigzagoon. We can get Ninkata in here. I don't know if I would want that. We could also get Shroomish. Shroomish might be nice, considering we missed out on a C dot. I think we... I mean, we'll probably get a Nuzleaf somewhere later on. Oh, come on. Alright. 
any. Really, a ruby nuzlocke if you don't get a uh, if you don't end up with a nuzleaf at all. <laughs> Good job, Mepsuta. Da -da 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 -da. What are we? Wormpole can't get you. Also, I'm counting Cascoon as, I'm, I'm counting Cascoon as, like, part of the line, even though, uh, we cannot get, we, even though, uh, we got a Silcoon. I forget if Cascoon is, like, uh, in the wild in Ruby, because I want to say it's, like, one of them is in one game and the other is in the other. Oh, great, no. Thankfully, I have the Petra Berries, but, uh Alright, I'm going to try to walk before using a Petra Berry. Okay. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Yeah, no, it's not gonna- it's- it's gonna be too close. It's not- or, like, not gonna be close, so let's just use it. Is that no? I was like, is it possible? Like, no, it is not. Yeah, Meb will be very helpful against Brawly. Aside from like the meta type, but uh against like the Machop and the Makuhita, uh Mabusta will be, uh, Mepsuta will be very good for, uh, for that. I forget if Beautifly learned Psybeam leveling up or if it's Gust. Like, I know you can give it, like, Psychic, and I know that, like, Dust. I think, I forget who gets what between the two, between Beautifly and Dustox. Like, I would prefer, like, a uh, Confusion or Psybeam, but I, I don't know. I'm starting to think that might be Dustox now that I think a little bit more about it, which is a shame. Shroom! exactly what star we're gonna call you. Ah, of course. Of course it was poison that you got. Alright, let's switch out uh, to somebody who will not take damage at all. <laughs> uh, I probably should have bought more. Trimish is actually hard to catch. Woo! So this is gonna... So, uh... 
we're gonna be calling you... Yeah, we're gonna be calling you Calf, because, uh... Calf is the base... is Ares' base in Team Star. If you didn't know, Team Star's, uh... Base names are all uh, based off of the, are all named after the stars of the constellation Cassiopeia. So, uh, and Ari is the fighting type uh, leader of Team Star. The cap. So I'm just like, oh, you no, know, no, that works perfectly. Cap's cap uh, because Breloom becomes a fighting type. I'm proud of that. I, I, that one, I'm like, nah, that's a great name for it. I, I like coming up with... I, I like the getting the, the star names. The, it's interesting having a restriction and then finding things to work with that. And it, with that. Buy a couple of potions. I know I have a couple of those. Let's buy a lot more antidotes. Those are going to be the things that actually ruin us. <laughs> Yeah, I want uh, I want Meb to evolve first. To, to, I want to get my Beautifly, and then we can start really training up everybody else. <laughs> That's a lot of Pokemon. I still can't it can't poison me. That's all that matters. So yeah, uh things that have been going on with me lately. I have uh uh still waiting to hear back on that one place. Uh I forget if I mentioned they like uh were they said they responded and they were on vacation the person who i was in contact with and uh nobody else had any information for me they finally got back to me they finally got back to me saying that hr will get back to me within uh within the next couple of days so that's been entertaining waiting for to hear about this job response but <laughs> mm. so uh still no idea about that job I apply to another one, uh, because, uh, my family is considering moving, is, like, considering moving, so I applied for a place that's closer to where, uh, er everybody's planning to be at. And that's where a lot of my, like, uh, a lot of my extended family is, so, it'd be close to them, it'd be fun, it'd be easier to get to, like, big family gatherings, it'd be fun. also be significantly closer to Magfest, so, like, if I get that job and move there, fa move there, like, before anybody else, it would be, it'd be fun to actually get to Mag. Thing is just like the Pokemon episodes I've been watching. Uh, Johto's still a fun. Johto's still a fun. It is weird how it's just how long it's taking to get to the first gym because like that was episode like seven, six or seven that you got to the first gym in uh, Kanto. Even like the Orange Islands, it was pretty fast to get to that. It's like man, 
I'm almost done the first disc and we aren't at uh the we aren't at uh at uh Faulkner yet. Now there were some fun episodes. It was like a uh, one with a dancing blossom. That was fun. Just uh seeing the blossom like seeing the blo blossom is one of my favorite Pokémon cuz I still love that uh intro in the uh intro thing from 2000 with like the uh blossom on the dance stage. So it was fun also seeing just like some more Blossom doing f some cool dance moves, styling on Team Rocket. <laughs> it is very entertaining seeing Ash learn the value of implementing dance steps into uh, Pokemon battles when they do that multiple times. And at one point, he tries to incorporate that into his battle style and is it starts messing up. He's like, never mind, I'm, never mind, this is a silly thing to do, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> uh, gotta love Ash. Uh, the other one that was in, the other, one of the other ones, uh, there is the Spinarak, uh, caper, where, like, Team Rocket is... Uh, like copycat thieving is doing copycat crimes from like this great thief from eight generations ago who had a meowth escaped with payday every single time which is really funny because we know that meowth can't learn payday at all they're complaining just like why don't you learn payday meowth so they instead threw uh, james's bottle caps Ooh, free exp nice It's fun just seeing like a uh, cool use of uh cool use of Spinarak. I kind of just like and honestly forgettable Pokemon in the games, but still like really cool seeing how it can how just like uh, you can use utility moves in the anime. There is a very funny visual thing where uh, Ash is having all of his Pokemon lot like hide for a stakeout. And, uh, just like, Squirrel goes into a pool, Bulbasaur goes into a bed of flowers, uh, Heracross hides in a tree, and he's just like, Charizard, you go wherever you want. So it goes next to a Blastoise fountain and starts, like, pretending to be a statue with the Blastoise. <laughs> Which is just really funny. Like, the Blastoise is firing water, so Charizard just starts breathing fire. Just like, can you stay like that the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, these episodes are very fun. Uh, next episode after that, it was the Snubble episode. Uh, uh, where, like, uh, meet a rich lady who has a snubble and she's just like sparing no expense to give it every sort of luxury it could possibly want except it hates all of them <laughs> uh and brock is sort of like uh just like calling her out a little bit like subtly at first <laughs> like to the point of just like being snide instead of like actually trying to help with the problem uh but eventually she does learn, like, Snubble starts beating up Team Rocket. Just like, oh, I, I'll help you out, Snubble. You find, like, here is this cool park for you. And then Snubble runs away and uh, starts to chase after Meowth's tail a whole bunch. Just like, man, I don't know, that kind of negated the whole message of the episode. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that. If that if that didn't happen, this would have been a really good episode. But then that happened at the very end. I'm just like, I don't know how I feel about this. Because Snubble looks at her trainer 
And it's like sad, just like, oh, you were like really starting to grow. You were really improving, but I have a tail to go bite. I don't know, that just felt like really disingenuous. Uh, you probably don't need Harden. Hey, that was just my thoughts on that episode. It's just like, because they decided to make try and make Snubble into a second Jigglypuff, which is really funny because they already still- because they're still using Jigglypuff in Johto. It may- it kind of felt like it just kind of lost the uh, entire plot of that episode. It would also that also also that's the episode with the uh, very infamous uh, popcorn ball scene. It's like, hold on, Snubble, uh, Snubble, looking at a steak right in front of it, just like refusing to eat it. Then Brock is like, hold on, Snubble, I know exactly what you want: popcorn balls. <gasps> Why? Like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about that. Why would a dog want? Want rice over meat. Why would I want rice over meat? Whatever. It was a funny gag. And also the the joy of popcorn box. Nothing will ever be reoccurring, Jigglypuff. Yeah, no, nah, Jigglypuff was Jigglypuff actually matters a lot in the plot. I, f I, n for I forget exactly when it disappears. I think it's in like one or two episodes of Hoenn. It disappears up until they go back to Kanto for uh for the Alola series. It makes one appearance after that, and I think that is the last time it shows up ever. I think that's how that goes. I could be wrong though. Uh, let's actually have Pisces up front. But no, I agree. Like, for recurring Pokemon like that, uh, Jigglypuff is the best. Aside from ones that eventually, like, join up with the team. Uh, hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. Yeah, I got one. I was waiting to ambush you, but you had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't ya? Got sick of waiting, so here I am. You, Devon Researcher, hand over those papers. Hey, you're a Pokemon trader, aren't you? You've got to help me, please. Huh? What do you think you're doing? What are you going to do? What, you're going to protect him? No one who crosses Team Magma gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on and battle me. Uh, last episode I watched was, uh... They find a Stantler in a, uh in a town's, like, a uh, park area. Brock tries to help it, a baby Stantler. Uh, Brock tries to help it, and then it creates an illusion of a herd of Stantler. <laughs> Everybody's just like, yeah, no, like, a whole herd of Stantler have been, like, suddenly just, like, in that, in that park lately. Nobody knows where they came from, and we can't find anything about them. And then they just stampede, and... Brock starts putting together what is happening pretty early, which I appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate that he kind of realized, just like, maybe that herd wasn't there in the first place. Like, what are you talking about? Like, good. Y good. The person who knows Pokemon realizes that the illusion-making Pokemon is making an illusion. He still wanted to... He was still, like, being a bit cautious with it, which is understandable. Eventually... Yeah, girl, you got some nerve meddling Team Magma. Come on and battle me again. I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. Nay, we have Team Magma also after some in Rustboro. I'll let you go to te I'll let you go today. Oh, that was awful close. Thanks to you, you didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball. It's my thanks. <laughs> didn't that Team Magma thug say they were after some in Rustboro too? 
Oh, that's a crisis. Can't be wasting time. Uh. If you take a bug Pokemon to school, you'll get instantly popular. Uh, yeah. Uh, he helps out the baby Stantler. Uh, gives it some gives it some medicine. It's a really good Brock episode, honestly. Like, I love when Brock gets, like, episodes focused on him, like, helping out. Like, using his knowledge of Pokemon to just help them out when they are separated. It's like, the fun bonds he can form with just about any Pokemon. Uh, there's a part of me that's just like, man, I kind of wish he could have kept that. But, eh, also... I consider how, uh... I consider how little his team, how little, like, screen investment his team usually gets. I'm like, mm, I don't know if this would have fixed it. Alright, Pisces, you are not going to be able to beat that easily, so let's switch out to Jirachi. Because you actually have a uh, psychic move, because you have a special move. Water gun, nice. And also, <laughs> James, like, gets a giant, like, robot Stantler <laughs> built, spending all of Team Rocket's money to do this. <laughs> and, uh, it's revealed. What does the secret weapon do? It throws a net doesn't even retrieve the Pokemon. It just throws the net, and they have to go and retrieve the net themselves. <laughs> like, well done, James. You really know how to make robot. You really know how to make robots. <laughs> uh. And watching that episode, I'm just, like, fully convinced, like, the only reason that this robot exists is because they wanted to give Odic something to battle. Because <laughs> it shows up, it- because Brock sends out Onyx, has it crush the giant robot, and then immediately, like, recalls it. Which I'm fine. Which I'm fine with. I'm glad that Onyx gets to do something because uh, it never does. But I can also call that out. Just like you, this only exists. You only did this because uh, you needed something for Onyx to battle. Is you can't justify Brock using Onyx against any of Team Rocket's Pokemon. Alright, let's send Cap out front, because Cap and uh, Pisces will be good against, uh. Against, um. Uh... Ooh, it's Halo. Against Roxanne. fun things I didn't notice is that Ash uses Heracross a lot in the very beginning of the of Johto. Which I I didn't really know that because he because he uh, has Heracross go into Oak's lab pretty quickly uh, pretty soon uh pretty soon after a point I forget exactly when And it's just like, oh man, Ash was using Heracross a lot, and it was really fun. And I just know that eventually Heracross is going to be gone, and that's a bit sad.
I'm filling my mouth with seeds and spinning them out fast. You can have this too. Yay! I'm gonna hold on to bullet seed for a little bit. Uh, I think I am going to count this. So this is still technically Route 104, but this section of Route 104 and the uh, past section have different encounter encounters and encounter rates. Oh, full heal, nice. So I think I'm going to count this as a different route. Uh, is this technically cheating uh, for some people? Not for me. Zigzagoon, we can't get. Am I doing this so that I can hopefully get a bird? Maybe. <laughs> I just want a bird. Not that bird. We can't use that bird, because we're already using that bird. You're telling me I'm losing to a bird! Yeah, what, what episode does Faulkner even like? Uh, what episode is the Faulkner battle? That is like a gym battle that I'm pretty sure I've never seen before. I don't think it's anytime soon because I'm pretty sure Chikorita is used in that battle. I, I like watching these Johto episodes. I'm just like, I do not remember like anything. So either it's been that long since I've seen them or I have never seen them. Both are equally likely. But, like, as I'm thinking about this, I'm trying to recall, I'm just like, I don't think I have ever seen the Faulkner gym battle, the, uh, the Chuck gym battle, and I'm not even sure if I saw the Price gym battle. Because I've definitely seen Bugsy, I've definitely seen both, both battles with Whitney, I've seen Morty. Um, and I've seen Claire and Jasmine. Like that, uh, the 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 Jasmine one with like the f the flaming tornado is burned in my brain. That was one of the coolest things as a kid. The flaming sandstorm was so cool. Nice. Oh, a rare candy. Nice. Bird! Bird up! Alright, let's confuse you. Excited for a lot of things. So yeah, I'm excited to see some of this because I'm realizing just more and more that I, I don't think I've seen like any of these episodes, or it has been so long and so infrequently that I can that I did not like form any real memory of these episodes. So that has been really fun. I'm excited to see what more uh, fun stories I'll get to see. Nice. Alrighty. What is a bird?
Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> nah, this works so well. This works so well on so many other levels. Ah. Yeah, no, I'm going to call you Aquila. Uh. This is a constellation, uh, it is Latin for eagle, and it represents the bird that carried, uh, Zeus's thunderbolts in the Greek mythology. Uh, hold up. Uh, it's Aquila. Which, I l love this as a name, because it's also, because, uh, obviously it's a bird. It's not an eagle, but it's a bird. But there's that thunder armor bullshit that they came up with in the in the gym battle against Tate and Liza for swell for Pikachu and Swallow. Just like no, that works great. Naming it naming it after the bird that carries Zeus's thunderbolt. Naming the bird that gets the bullshit thunder armor. I love it. Nah, that's great. Oh. Uh. All right, I want to get Aquila into the party. Hey, I want I want Aquila in the party more than I want uh, all Bali. that Albali will has a little bit over them is that uh is that uh when we battle Brawly they won't be weak to uh they won't be neutral to uh the fighting moves but also I'm pretty sure that uh that Meb's gonna be our main our main star against Brawly Wait till I get the Thunder Armor. Does Ruby or Does Ruby or Sapphire only have one Fire type in the Wild? No, it has more. Uh, in the Wild there is Vulpix, uh, Slugma, Torkoal, and Nummel. I think that might be all of them for Wild ones anyway. Also, hi Disney, how you doing? That sounds right to that sounds right for all the fire types. There might be one or two that I'm missing. Italian gibberish. Hey, we're all out good round with a battle. Oh, oh, do -da, do -da. Uh, I, 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 I'm excited. I've been enjoying Brothership. I've not gotten too far into it. I've gotten the second uh, connector. Whatever the whatever it's called. I might have. Butchered the name. <laughs> Must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Lady Cindy. Absorb. Okay, I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be. I, I, I was guessing like I'm guessing like roughly 20-25 hours. Don't tell me what it is. 
since I'm still playing it. I was considering streaming it, but nah. Alrighty, um... Jirachi just beat it. <laughs> Also, puns galore are so many. It's wonderful. He's a rock, the person who sees rocks. Oh, I love him. Oh my. Hello's the beginning of goodbye. I hope we meet again. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. <laughs> Lotad. Eat the Lotad. Nice crit. One thing that I am, uh, like, uh, one thing I do want to do, I want to go back through, uh, like, uh, through the original threads, uh, of that and, like, get some detailed thought, get, like, post some thoughts I had on the, uh, on the first, uh, on all of the episodes. I'm a little bit sad I didn't even think of, like, making that a thing until Johto is, like, after each episode, posting my thoughts of the episode as a whole. So, like, it's not going to be as authentic for, uh, for this, because I'm going to be going back, retros like, retrospectively with, like, my thoughts from those tweets and from... Wow! My thoughts retrospectively from those tweets and also just, like, synopsis real quick. Uh, quick question, Aquila. Do you have... You do have Peck. Alrighty. Nice. Don't do it, don't do it. I'll take that. Give me my guts. Excellent. Alrighty. I shouldn't have battled. Alright, ads are about to start, so... Let's save real quick and get over to the intermission screen. Anyway. While we are on our break, you can grab a drink or a snack, use restroom stretch, release on the attention body, join me in some setups, I'll be back in just a bit.
Alrighty, hope you all enjoyed your break. Sorry that the music apparently started warbling at one point. Oh, hello. Okay, let's battle with our Pokemon! Oh, you don't challenge me, okay. Hello, Dad and C Dot. Alrighty. Let's absorb you. Right, let's both go into the Lotad to start just in case that C Dot goes for Bide. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny how, uh, the translate did, uh, C dot. It was, uh, the letter C dot, just all one word. That's kind of funny. All right, let's paralyze it, too. Nice, nice. No, cap. No, no, I... I don't know if I don't know if it has anything that can take advantage of growth, but uh, I don't want to stick around to find out. God, this C dot is like immune to everything. Alrighty. I'm not gonna like attack it while it's doing bide. Excellent. I don't know exactly how, uh... Unleash the energy! But it failed. It's just, it's just a tiny acorn. Brang. Bye bye. Losing upsets me. Yeah, losing upsets a lot of people. Why keep it secret? I'm a water Pokemon expert, huh? You don't know me. Are you Misty? Did we find Misty, guys? You're not Misty. Gorp. Gorp, 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 gorp. Sorry, one of the only ways I can think of Magikarp it now is, like, uh... Uh, I, I believe the comic is just called, like, Manly Dudes Doing Manly Things, where it's like, uh... This guy was... didn't want to be a Pokémon trainer, but everybody eventually forced him to... He just wanted to play video games. But, and eventually he had to, like, uh... This is... A, uh, he went to cut his lawn because wild Pokemon were starting to uh, spawn in it. He let it grow too big. <laughs> Professor Oak tries to get him to start his Pokemon journey. He's just like, all right, fine. This is the Pokemon I choose, and it's a Magikarp. Like, no, you don't want that one. Too bad. We've already bonded. He's called Mr. Fish. <laughs> he proceeds to then w beat Pokemon by using <laughs> Magikarp as his own flail. Like, he just swings the Magikarp at, him. He, at the opponents until it eventually evolves into a Gyarados. It's like, yeah, no, that's that's a very funny way to depict, utilize, like, getting a Magikarp to evolve. You just throw the Magikarp at uh, all of the opponents until finally it's a Gyarados. It's such a silly comic. I love it, though. All right, I choose this one. You don't want that one, trust me. It's too late. I've already named him Mr. Fish. We bonded. Uh. 
Cherry berries. Two apples. The berries grow in love. Feel free to take them. Make sure you plant a berry in the same spots. Come courtesy. Hmm. Don't tell her that I haven't been doing that. Don't tell her that I'm still not doing that. Oh man, I, I know we heard this pretty recently in Emerald, but it's still, it's, uh, it's such a fun song. You can't get anything here. It's full of suspense. Nothing up here either. Huh, interesting. I thought there was, like, gonna be a trainer to battle. Alrighty. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you some winning advice. It's settled then. Let's aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. That's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards to beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Don't take us gym trainers lately. Well, I'll show you why we're better. How many light years am I away from Roxanne? Dude. Eat the Geo, dude. That did a lot of damage. A Geodude is no slouch when it comes to attack. And I am, like, a level under it. Ooh, Leech Seed. Nice. I would hope I can beat this one. Excellent. Alright, Josh, goodbye. You shall be missed. You shall be missed, Josh. Nice, level 12. And Shrimish levels up fast. I uh, got another rare candy. Nice. All right, let's give Pisces uh, another, uh, like, uh, the next set of battles. If you, if you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. That's why I will beat you. No, just one Geo, dude. That's fine. Uh oh. Very good. Nice. Oh, you got some potential. All right, let's go heal. Alright, we should be fine against Roxanne. The nose pass, obviously nose pass can be a bit of an issue because it's not, uh, it doesn't have a four weakness to, uh, water or grass, but it's still not that strong.
Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I may, I may apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Dude. Yeah, we're a little bit underleveled for Roxanne, but I think we'll be fine. We got a water type, a grass type, and a Jirachi. I think we'll be fine. Nose pass. I really feel like I'm struggling. I can also start doing some mud slaps. You know what? Let's go for one now. Just in case. Nice crit. Alrighty. And that's a little bit frustrating, but oh well. I'm fine. Use your use your potions now. Good. <laughs> Good. That mud slap coming in. Really nice. Wow, really? Uh, did more than I would care to uh, acknowledge. Oh, we still won. So, I lost. Seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you. Dane's Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, TM can only be used once, so think before you use it. Oh, breathtaking victory. My jury must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. The snow badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. It does. Get out of the way! Wait, please, don't take my goods! Well, his goods have been stolen. can't have stolen goods. Alrighty. Term expression. Limber way you move, and you're a well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. Sure you're capable of putting this HM to good use? No, you need to be modest or shy? Go on, take it. Yay! HM, it's cut. It's a move that can only use by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. Unlike a DM, an HM doesn't break after one use. Yay! I hope I'm giving them perfectly suited nicknames. It's expression by, uh, originality, that's it. <laughs> Becca Chew. Becca. Becca! I forgot to get this in Emerald. As soon as you don't study, get a little taste of my quick law. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Thank you. Uh, that is honestly a pretty alright item to give to, uh... 
Can you give to a mudkip? Sure. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Petalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I'll n if I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Alright, we're out 116. What are we gonna find? Zigzagoon, can't use ya. Can't? We already got one. We already got Natasha. like Skitty, Makuhita, uh, I think Machop and Abra as well. Maybe Ninkata is still here as well? I don't remember. Halo, can't use you. We already got gotcha. you. I think Maryland named one of his uh, birds Aquila. I think it was a Star Raptor. I think that was when he was doing like uh, the uh, flat the uh, platinum series when he was just like uh, going through it real fast with just two Pokemon. Ninkada. Alrighty. I think giving Ninkata another, uh... I think just calling the Ninkata Gemini makes sense. Out of every... Out of every possible name for it, I think this is the best... The best person to be called Gemini. Considering the evolution method. Nice. I've underground for many years in complete darkness. This Pokemon absorbed nutrients from the roots of trees. It stays motionless as it waits for evolution. Sure, that is it. Oh no, no! Unfortunately, you're unfortunately you're a girl. I was thinking just like, what if I named you Caster, and like uh, whenever we got uh, uh, Shedinja, we named you Polux. And just like, nah, I'm gonna stick with Gemini. Yeah, okay, I did spell it correct. Let's get, uh, Meb up front. Oh, Pokemon are tough! Let's battle! I want to get you Gust or whatever move you'll have that will be good against Brawly. Nice. Will this Silcoon actually be able to attack? I don't know. I still don't know. <laughs> the mystery will never end. Can this Silcoon attack? Hmm. 
<laughs> I don't think it can. I think it can only harden. Ninkata. Let's drink the Ninkata. I, I, I. Wow, wow, wow. Got, yeah, you do not learn psychic moves, but you do learn gust at level 13, it seems. That'll be fine. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Like, I can teach... I can use a TM for psychic. That's buyable, so... Oh, I, I realized something. That could be bad. I don't know what level it gets it at, but uh, Meryl can learn Rollout. That's bad. Thank you. Keep doing that. I can ex... Okay, good, 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 good. Honestly, honestly, in this instance, Gust is going to be better against uh, Brawly. You're a notch above me because of the stab. So I'm not upset about getting a beautiful eye even if I can't get, uh, what's it called? Uh, even if I can't get, like, a Psy Beam later on. I also don't know how long I would be using a Beautifly. Uh, actually, speaking of, what is Beautifly's ability? I got Swarm. Okay, the Swarm is its only ability. I wasn't sure if it potentially had Compound Eyes as well. Pokemon rule! Check him out! Let's see if we can poison you real quick. Thank you. Mepsuta, you are doing great. Bye, Zigzagoon. Your experience points will be delicious. I'll stick you in. I'll keep you in. Not gonna poison you. That would be a mistake. I don't know if it can get, uh... If it gets a normal attack or not. It's 
Stop it. No, I, like, I would think it would have low kick right now, but nah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, uh, yeah, you're scaring me too much. Three leers, I don't care what it is you have. Let's send in the nuke. We still got two levels with you. I forget if it's level 10 or if it's level 11 that it stops listening to me. Dundle doesn't go through, then I just have to go over the top. Iker Clark, Geodude, nope, you are not staying out against this thing. I don't remember when it gets, uh... I don't know when it gets Rock Throw, but I am not gonna chance it. Caps will be fine to beat it. I think also Cap is pretty cool because it's like pretty close to Cap, like Mushroom Cap. Uh, I will do some switch training just to try and get, uh, so I, we can try and get Gust early. These Geodude are actually pretty good experience. more. Oh no, I finally took damage. <laughs> he realized that using defense curl every single time was probably a bad strategy. <laughs> Oh, Lucy made me tired. Arr, what's going on? I was digging a tunnel without any tools since some goon ordered me out. The tunnel is filled with Pokemon to react badly loud noises. They could uh, cause an uproar. Then we stop using heavy equipment for tunneling. Hi, Gabrine. Word if that goon will do something stupid and startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Oh, what am I to do? We were on a walk, Pico, and I would jump by an old thug. Scoundrel made off of my darling, Pico. Ah, Pico! Come on, Briny. You're, you're like, uh, seven feet tall and still weld-muscled. You can beat up this goon. Uh. I want to know what possessed... Yamamoto to design Briny like he did in Adventures. <laughs> did he really just not have any official artwork of him? Oh yeah, and also, huh? This is a new area, so we can get the Wizmer. It's making an uproar. A two, woo, a three. Yay! Uh, what would be a good name for a Wismer? What is a good star? For, what is a good star for like a Wismer? Uh. Do any of this? No, no, no. It has to be a star. Dizzy isn't a star. Are there any stars named after any of the muses? Um... 
Apparently, Musica just is one. You know what? Let's go with that. Apparently, Musica is just a star name. Part of uh, Delphinus, apparently. Uh, Latin for music, the ancient Greek musician Arian's, uh, Arian's life was saved at sea by dolphins after attracting their attention by playing his, uh, kithara. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Alrighty. What are you coming? What, are you coming? Come and get some then. Okay. Yeah, key haul it all. That hostage Pokemon turn will be worthless. To think I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey you, so you want to battle me? And eh, that's a little bit that that level is a little bit concerning. Alright, that's not that much damage. The only problem is if it, like, howls a whole bunch. Uh, I don't think you're gonna do enough damage quickly enough. Oh god, you are, like, half health. Alrighty, uh, cap instead. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm gonna go for this. <laughs> I think I need to. Ah! Stop it! Stop using that! Stop using Howl! Oh, thank God. Quick question. Okay, they're the same. 20, 35. With stab, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure tackle is better. Even with stab, I think tackle is better. Oh. God, four howls. I'm like terrified. My career in crime comes to a dead end. This is plain- this is plain not right. Boss told me it would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to steal some package from Devon. Shh. Want back that badly? Take it. Thanks for the goods. Oh, Pico, I am I glad to see you're safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are? Ah, so you are Stella. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can find me in my cottage by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our home. Yay! <gasps> oh, God. I was starting to get, like, really, uh... I was starting to be, like, scared. It's like, oh no. Like, right now, a Beautifly is actually, like, pretty strong, considering it's a fully evolved Pokemon. I shouldn't be too worried about it, but, like, that many howls, like, really, I want to send in uh, Pisces. Didn't want to send in Kopf. But, uh, I didn't realize Pisces was at half health. 
How'd it go? The Devon Goods? You did? You got it back. You really are a great boat trainer. I know. It's my thanks. I'll give you another great ball. That's great. Excuse me. Please come with me. This is Devon Corporation's third floor. President's office on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how great, how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us, can I get you delivered to that uh, shipyard and slave port? It'd be awful if those robbers tried to get it again. Uh, <laughs> could I uh, count on you to do that for me? That's right, can you wait here for a second? Sure. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Please go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, president of the Devon Corporation. Just got word about you. You saved our snap, not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. Thank you. Now you should know that I am a great president, so I'll never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. That device, it's a Pokemon Navigator, or PokéNav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Dewford and Slateport easily. Thank you. Well, new kind of Pokéballs. I haven't made much headway. Oh wow, that's a PokéNav. Came as a result of a president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokémon. Would you like me to describe its features in detail? No, no, I think you can find that out just by trying the PokéNav out. Developing device for talking with Pokémon, but we haven't much, had much success. Trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokémon, but it's not going well. Hmm. Well, uh... I hope your progress works well and isn't, like, uh, destroyed by some, like, uh, takedown of a network site by, like, uh, just, just arbitrarily they're like, hmm, what if we don't need this, uh, really cool feature anymore that we advertise this game a really, a uh, whole bunch with? Hmm. Been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils, and it's working! Hi there, you're always welcome here. Thank you. Welcome to Devon Corporation. Proudly produce items and medicine that enhances your life. Looks like you recover the ripped off Devon goods. Yep. Unfortunately, we do not get match call in this. Do we learn nothing from Jurassic Park? We learned everything from Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs are cool. That's a plot line of every Jurassic movie after... That, I'm pretty sure that's the through line of every... Every single iteration of Jurassic... of the Jurassic series. It's just like, why are we... why are we still doing this? Why are we idiots? Uh... Alright, I'm going to save because uh, I'm going to be honest, I am hungry right now and I do not, and uh, I want to uh, order a pizza. So yeah, I am going to say we are going to stop here. It's a little bit early, but uh, we also started a bit late and I'm just like, ah, no, I need to eat. <laughs> yeah, thanks everybody for coming. I hope you had fun. This was a lot of fun. I, I am happy to be uh, happy to be doing this. Food is good. Food is good. I'm excited to see how this will work. We'll see if we will need to use any of Jirachi's wishes. Uh, we'll see how long this will last. Next stream will be next stream. Hopefully, we'll be able to utilize Jirachi like uh, properly because we we won't have that level restriction. All right, but let us find a raid target. I have an idea of who we're gonna raid, but I want to check out who all is live first. Uh, you know what? All right, I am gonna choose. I'm gonna choose you. Hmm. Nah. Hmm. Ah, uh, there are so many good options. So many good options to raid. Ah. Uh, I think I'm gonna choose uh, limit though today. Cause uh. I'm curious why they shouted me out, like, yesterday. I just have in my, uh, 
Because, like, I didn't stream anything at all yesterday. I just have in my activity feed, No Limit gave you a shout-out. Like, why? <laughs> no, well, you know what? I'm gonna reciprocate that. They gave me a shout-out. I'm gonna raid them today. Yeah, copying the raid message, playing raid emotes that you enjoy. They're currently playing Echoes of Wisdom. Don't know how far they are in this. Uh, they're doing something in a dungeon with some... Sp they're in a dark area, so... Let us start up the raid, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, y'all.